Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. Occasionally shelving our original biases can be the beginning of a journey into a refreshing discovery of liberty. I'm going to be talking about how homework can be smart work. A friend recently made the following statement. So your boss lets you work from home? Hmm, that's because he's a kind guy. Nah, that's because he's a smart guy, I responded in my head. A survey by Global Workplace Analytics and FlexJob indicates that the remote work has grown 91% over the last 10 years and 159 over the last 12 years. In Nigeria and possibly in other African countries, working from home is seen as a favor granted to the employee, a kind of soft work for those who can't hack the straight up office nine to five, or in some cases, five to nine. COVID-19 seems to have forced the hands of some employees, making this hitherto taboo area of consideration an unavoidable option. Now the lockdown is being eased and most are geared to return back to business, no questions asked. Working from home was the new normal that was never really normal. The reason being that a lot of bosses are still innately distrustful of their employees, of their ability to govern, self-govern, and plan their work. These bosses feel that unless they can see and directly supervise their employees' comings and goings, they would most likely be 419. They're not entirely wrong. However, is this the work culture that we want to cultivate and sustain? Is this what a progressive work culture looks like? I very much doubt it. Working from home, though with its challenges in a nation of epileptic power supply and not so reliable internet service, has much to recommend it. It gives power back to the employee by making them responsible for planning their work according to deliverables as opposed to a clock-in, clock-out system which scarcely delivers beyond our familiar practice of eye service. It relies on trust the missing ingredient in most of our working relationships as a people. This trust investment will most likely be rewarded by an employee going above and beyond, at least I can speak for myself. We haven't even begun to mention other benefits like less time spent in traffic and less congestion on our roads and pollution of our environment, not forgetting more flexibility to negotiate work-life balance. I know as far as benefit versus harm goes, this could go either way. Overall, one would hope that if nothing else, this period of intermission has taught us that homework can indeed be smart work. I hope you'll agree. Yeah, to some extent I agree, and then to some extent... I want to hear the extent, the, I want to hear the extent to which you don't. The, depending on the nature of the job, mm. uh, there are some work you can't do from home. Mm -hmm. uh, why there are so many jobs these days that you can work from home. Like, my office is still uh, under lock and key. Um, my staffs work from home. I just email you what I need you to do. And, and then, are they delivering? Yes, yes. I don't. Um, for me, is there are time limit. You can give them. Um, you can. You can give them um, what do you call it um, uh, a time frame. Okay. So I need this document back in an hour or two. If that person were in, a, in, were in the office, it's the same thing. Give. Let me have it in an hour or two. And so with working from home, actually, you can actually work. A lot of organizations work from home. You really? Know. So Nigeria? You, yes, you okay. really don't know. That's not the pressure now. Yeah, but you pre, see... Pre-COVID, I do not know about that. Yes. Yeah, but, right but, now, but now... You're having you, to adapt. Yes. And, and then, you know, you see, it also, apart from all of this benefit that you listed, it also saves time. Because I actually did a lot of work from home. I'm not the office type. I'm not the one that I can wake up 4 a.m., and then straight to my laptop okay. and walk from that time till... But you're your own boss, that's the thing. Yes, mm. but so because I know the benefits 
And so I also allow people to practice it and, and, and you know, understand okay, it. And progressive learn it. So, man. Yeah, and, and, and so when you understand all of this, and now gradually even the courts are beginning to do virtual sitting mm -hmm. and, you know, so we'll begin to practice new things. It's not every time that you want people, everybody to be in one space and then, you know, but some sometimes also, you we also discover now that you can do online meetings and yeah. then, uh, really, it's, it's a culture we should uh, embrace, but yeah. there are some jobs, like I said, there are some jobs that you cannot do from home. I thought Chuka was trying to call yeah. Oh, is it Chuka? Yeah, I want to come in. Mm. Okay. Um, I, I agree. I do like the whole working from home culture. In fact, I've been doing it for years now, so it's really not a big deal. I only ever go into the office if I, I need to. You know, maybe I need to meet with somebody and it's just a little bit more professional to do it that way. But like um, Libora said, there are some jobs that it just doesn't work well for. Um, I'm looking at the teaching, um, teaching jobs. Um, the other day, they tried to hold um, online classes and it did not work. It just didn't. The children couldn't be organized. The children couldn't be controlled. The teacher couldn't come in. She didn't know how to come in. In the end, she had to end the class and, and that was the end of it. Um, so I think, and also maybe medical doctors as well. There's only so much you can do, you know, online. Actually, I'll, I'll come in um, there because um, I, I know someone close to me who is now doing online consultations. And he says everybody's yeah, very happy. But there will, there no, will come, are, what I'm saying is that online. there will come a point where there might be need for a physical. Um, yeah, yeah, no, physical examination. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so there, there are limits to it. So I'm not saying that, you know, you can do online up to a point. Yeah. But I think um, there still needs to be that leeway to have physical meetings um, and physical consultations. Because not everything will work well online, mm. you know. Like, for instance, now they're trying to teach our children online. But now the problem is that the parents have to get involved. Yeah. If the parents aren't involved, it it, nothing, it's not going to work. And even when I was involved, it still didn't work. So, you know, I think certain things should go back to the way they were, such as... Sometimes you <laughs> end up copying all the notes. <laughs> and, and Sorry? Of, you know, I said sometimes you ended up copying all the notes. <laughs> for the children. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so for me, I think that my proposition is the fact that um, if you have absolutely no reason to go to a fiscal space, you know, to, to, to transact your business, then by all means you can stay at home and work. And it's important that you highlighted the, the challenges that, you know, exist with working from home. Mm -hmm. Say, for instance, I, I watched recently um, this interview with um, some, I think it was on CNN or BBC. No, he was granted an interview and then a little child walked right yes, into the, yeah. that was yes. the workspace for him. Yeah. Yes. But then the little child, you know, unsuspectingly, just walks into the room. So you have such distractions. And which is the reason why, you know, some buses are, you know, somewhat guarding of, okay, no, that you space. need to do this, you need to do that, but you know, they're not aware of the distractions that exist. Yeah. There's also the fact of, um, you know, data, um, lives. I, I, for instance, having to work from home, I have to turn on my generator, you know, for, because we don't who have... Who pays for who all pays of those? For, yeah. I also have a colleague or a friend who, you know, we're discussing about this work from home, and I'm like, okay, so what about the data? And he said, ah, my boss told me that if you were going to come to the office, you would spend transport for coming to the office. <laughs> So use your transport fare on your data. Oh my, your this boss is tight. So I mean, these <laughs> but, are some but, of the issues. But, 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 no, I, I was, I, let me just qualify. I know I did the no, advocacy. Sorry, sorry, Kenny. Okay. You, you know, there, there, are, there are so many work we can do from here. Yes, that, I was going if there. If only we improve some of this infrastructure, yeah, like light yeah, yeah. and the internet, internet services. Yeah, yeah. You know, there are so many jobs. Yes. Done. So I mean, I, this idea of decongesting the terminal roads, bridge yeah. also. And stress, the stress factor. I think government also should begin to look in that. Yeah, I mean, Chuka, I, I was just going to say, because yeah, I want to hear your thoughts, but I was just going to say that part of my advocacy was never really meant to say everything should be from home. I was just trying to say, yeah. let's even shift away from that presumption that we have to be in the office. I didn't even mention the counter, which is, I love coming into the office. I love seeing my colleagues. I love having fun with them. And that social bond is also important for me. I think staying away from the office sometimes, you feel slightly out of it. It doesn't quite have the same... You know, Effect. yeah, I think it's necessary and it builds, it builds the whole relationship thing and it helps. Sorry, Chuka. Mm. Well, I had actually decided last year that in 2020, I was going to try a new system where we don't come to the office every day okay. uh, so that I could save transport and therefore some of the salary of the staff for themselves, so not for me, mm. um, and all that. And then COVID comes along and 
it makes it happen and then makes the whole world actually consider what I was considering alone. Is it working so, for you? It, yes, it works. Um, there, there are power issues. Um, what are the issues? Power. I don't see the date too because an office ought to make available data. Yes. So it's the power. That's the problem. And sadly, 60 years later, we have no power. Now the chicken has come home to roost and we cannot work from home because we have no power. How sad. No, but we can actually, you, you see, if, if you have, um, if you look at the, the costs of maintaining an office yes. and then you have em employees and then you yes. also maybe add a little to their salaries it's okay yes this is for your fear and this is for your data mm. you know because you have to and your gen yes your that's gen. what you say and, and, and mm. so we, when you put all of this together it will still not be a, up to what you are yeah. paying for your office. Yes, that's right. Yeah, because you would have you can saved have a smaller you. office. Yes, yeah, true. you can. You, you can even saved. work from home. Yeah, you, because you've saved. <laughs> well, you, you get a smaller you, office. You yeah. also, you also know, you also need to realize that some of those offices made use of desktops, right? And so their staff had, you know, their personal desktop, but it was un unmovable. So now having to work from home, I see people complain, oh, I do not have a computer. A laptop. And, you know, I don't have a laptop at home mm. or, you know, something like that. But so do you know that in some countries, you should invest in your In staff. some countries, owning a laptop has, is almost a, a fundamental right. Data is like a fundamental <laughs> right. Yes. yes. And, and why so not? when you, I, I also have an advocate of, work. of the moment you employ somebody equip in this. Them. Uh, you equip them. Mm. For, fortunately, I had a friend in Worry. You know, he sent me document and I was to respond. And I said, okay, let me email this document to you. He said, ah, no, I don't have email. I said, this day and age. He, he, you know, strangely. Mm -hmm. So we need to equ equip people, you yeah. know, whether you're working from home or not. So your work becomes flexible. So if anything happens, you cannot actually be anywhere. I can assess my documents from anywhere. Anywhere, you know? true. Well, we've come to the end of our roundtable discussion on moral dilemmas, civil liberties, and brave new choices. As we go into the week, ensure you greet it with courage and fearlessness. We're with you all the way. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook, plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocates NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocates NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next time, when we're privileged to engage with you in the interest of a better society, it's bye for now. Bye. bye, -bye. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed. It's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just to colonize you.